the question says addition of hbr to propene yields to bromopropane okay yields to bromopropane we can write this chemical reaction we have a propene ch3 ch double bond ch2 is there and it is reacting with hbr and forming the product to bromopropane we have ch3 ch ch3 and it is br is there okay further it says while in the presence of benzoyl peroxide the same chemical reaction yields one bromopropane in this chemical reaction if we if we use benzoyl peroxide then we get one bromopropane let me write this reaction also ch3 ch double bond it is ch2 and plus hbr is also there but we used benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide this is c double o o and o peroxide linkage will be there okay this is the reagent we have okay this is the reagent so we can we have this is the reagent and then we get ch3 ch2 ch2 and this is one bromopropane okay it is two secondary alkyl halide this is primary alkyl halide is there okay it says explain and give the mechanism why it is happening so you can see in the second reaction if we use if we use benzoyl peroxide we are getting primary alkyl halide and if we do not use this peroxide we are getting secondary alkyl halide so why this kind of change is taking place okay this is the first chemical reaction this is the second chemical reaction in general you might have learned about a marconi cow rule okay you can see in this case this reaction first reaction is taking place via marconi cow rule and second reaction you can see peroxide effect is there so this is according to anti marconi cow rule okay in the marconi cow product you know we get a product from the stable carbocation okay we get the product in marconi cow reaction you know we get the product from the stable carbocation and in anti marconi cow reaction we get the product from least stable carbocation you can see in this case we are getting primary carbocation in this case we are getting secondary carbocation anyway we understand the mechanism okay first reaction is that mechanism very interesting part is there easily we can understand mechanism we have for the first chemical reaction mechanism mechanism okay first we have ch3 is there ch3 ch double bond ch2 is there and it is reacting with hbr hbr pay attention very carefully you can see this is this ch3 group is electron donating group because positive inductive effect is applied positive inductive effect a positive inductive group is there it always donates electron density and when it is donating electron density when it is donating electron density so what will happen this bond will break this side opposite direction to avoid the repulsion if you are breaking this bond this side you know so repulsion will be there electron density coming this side it is also coming this side so repulsion will be there so bond breaking pi bond breaking is is always done opposite to the positive inductive group so bond breaking is done so here we have partial positive charge and here we generate partial negative charge okay one more thing if you look at here br is uh, more electron negative than hydrogen okay so it has a greater tendency to pull the electron so when it is pulling electron from h uh, from hydrogen to hydrogen will have partial positive charge because it is losing electron density and br will have neg partial negative charge okay now you can see this ch2 is having negative charge it is electron rich and hydrogen is what electron poor so it can donate electron density it will donate electron density to hydrogen hydrogen cannot form more than one bond as it is at the br being more electron negative will pull the electron density like this we can complete the reaction okay so this is the first step we have then we can say second step and this is the third step we have now see what happens exactly next ch3 is there we have ch3 and then ch ch it is having the partial positive charge okay converted into single bond and this ch2 is there ch2 this ch2 is combining with one more hydrogen then converted into ch3 and from here br minus is liberated br minus is there okay so you can see we got a secondary carbocation more stable carbocation okay so you can see we have secondary carbon secondary carbon is there and it is forming secondary carbocation 
from the secondary carbocation we we get the final product more stable carbocation we have we cannot transfer this pass to charge over this carbon or this carbon otherwise you will get the primary carbocation secondary is more stable than primary carbocation okay then this br minus ion will attack the more stable carbocation so next we have ch3 it is ch having the pass to charge ch3 there br will attack over the secondary carbocation forming the product ch3 ch br is there and then we have ch3 this is what secondary alkyl halide 2 bromopropane 2 bromopropane okay so very interesting reaction is there mechanism is also very interesting easily we can complete okay and uh, another interesting part in the same very reaction if we use benzoyl peroxide how we are getting primary primary alkyl halide we can understand this reaction via mechanism okay so move on to the mechanism for the second chemical reaction so keep in mind the second chemical reaction takes place via free radical mechanism okay let me write it this reaction is taking place via we have free radical via free radical second reaction taking place via free radical mechanism unlike the first reaction first reaction case we are forming the stable carbocation okay we applied the pass to inductive effect move on to the second chemical reaction so since it is taking place via free radical mechanism so first of all we have to generate free radicals which can initiate a chemical reaction so reagent we have benzoyl benzoyl peroxide is there so chemical formula we can write we have the chemical formula benzoyl second reaction we have second reaction for this we are writing the mechanism mechanism this is benzoyl double o oxygen linkage we have to show so that it can be peroxide okay here we have the benzene ring okay so you can see we have a oxygen this is peroxide this, ox, this is also peroxide oxygen oxygen linkage is there and one chemical bond has two electrons so you can equally distribute this electron so one dot will come this side one dot will come this side okay so other side we are getting two molecules of benzene ring okay that is c double o and this is o dot is there like this because this is one molecule this is another molecule now you can see if you pay attention here one carbon two oxygen can form carbon dioxide gas okay so any molecule in which or any compound in which the chances of formation of gas is there so gas will have tendency to escape automatically supporting is spontaneity okay so this is spontaneous process escaping of a gas from any process is a spontaneous process automatically it happens we don't need to supply any kind of external factor so you can see we have let me write it again here we have a, a benzene ring is there benzene ring benzene ring okay and uh, here we have c double o and this is o dot is there carbon is present here okay this uh, bond is there this bond is having two electron so equal distribution of electron is done equally distributed okay so we got carbon dot and this carbon dot you can see this dot and this dot will combine so i do one thing i write it this side this dot and this dot will combine sorry cancel we have this dot this dot will combine and when this dot dot combining forming one uh, uh, one bond and this is removed as a in the form of co2 so we removed the co2 gas from here escaped automatically supporting spontaneity and we got the benzene ring benzene ring and keep in mind this carbon is having the dot okay it is also you can see valency of carbon is not satisfied it is quite reactive so again it will attack some here you can take two molecules also you can put two molecules here also balancing the equation no problem okay now next uh, hbr is there hbr come into the picture we have the benzene ring okay and to this carbon one radical is there again we do not consider electronegativity difference in case of free radical equally distributed okay so one dot will come here i mention one dot and one dot will come here okay and break it from here so you can see carbon dot carbon dot and h dot will connect so well set valency of carbon will be satisfied so as a result we get a benzene ring is there and this is we can mention hydrogen also you can mention hydrogen and then we got a br dot is there this br dot will initiate the chemical reaction with the reactant it will attack the 
reactant that is what propene okay we have propene so let me write this is ch3 it is ch and double bond ch2 is there okay so we have br dot br dot okay it is having free radical one dot is there quite reactive and again you can see carbon carbon is anyway we are not going to consider about the electron activity equal distribution of electron will be there one dot will come here one dot will come here we have broken this bond okay so this dot and this dot will connect this dot and this dot will connect so we got ch3 ch3 ch and this is what one dot is present over here and this is ch2 and it is br is there bond formation okay so we got dot it is reactive so again what will happen it uh, we have a sbr is there sbr from sbr again we can get uh, we can get as h dot so we have a ch3 it is ch dot is there then ch2 and it is br is there and we have h br is there you break it from here equal distribution of electron will be there h dot and ch dot will combine together forming this is ch3 ch2 ch2 and this is br is there from here br dot is liberated okay br dot br dot we have already so we can see br dot and we br dot will connect and so they will form br2 okay so we do not follow uh, focus on the main product we can see we got uh, one bromo propane in this chemical reaction okay one bromo propane this is how it is formed so you can see benzoyl peroxide first of all it is generating a free radical then it is reacting with hbr then we get br dot br dot is attacking this propane and then we get one bromo propane okay so that is how we complete the chemical reaction so interesting part is that first reaction you can see in the first reaction we form a stable carbocation then we form the product and in the second reaction reaction is taking place via free radical mechanism via free radical mechanism and then we are getting the product so you can see in this case we are getting a stable product in this case less stable product is there if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel